Let's go. So we are going to play capture the flag and we are going to see how many caps I can actually get. I have three Nitro 3s equipped and we're going to go just for the caps. I don't care if I die. I don't care if I get zero kills. I want caps, caps, caps. So we did get the smallest map. I don't know why I just shot there. That's one, one cap. Gaps. I say we should be able to, I mean, for sure get like four unless a teammate takes it. Gotta kill him, okay. That's three. And he spawns right. Game wants to spawn him right next to me. Come on. Four, let's get four. Oh my god, we need a health pack. Where's the health pack at? Oh my god, it's right there. Oh, we got it. T-Bay, get out the way. T-Bay stole the flag. Yeah, drop it back. There you go, let me get it. Can we get five? Can we get six, guys? That would be crazy. I need this health pack. Let me get this health back. Teammate, don't take it. Oh my god. He took the health pack, bro. If you guys see, he has his damage area out right now. There's no reason to challenge him when he has his, uh, when he has his damage area. We got 1,400 points with two kills and five caps. We should have had six. 85% accuracy, $19,000. So that is setting the standard at five caps. So our next game that we play, if we go straight for caps, we are going to go for six or higher. Desert Post is probably the best map, it's the smallest, so you, I'll probably be able to hit 6 on that. Hill base is pretty good too. I don't know, we're going to have to see. So 5 is the, five is the, is the number to beat. So we will throw a couple more out there. One of them we're going to go for just kill, so we're, we are going to do that. We'll switch it up a little bit. Alright guys. Laters.